Hey Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shazeb signing in. We're back with another video guys. In this video we will be discussing Sologenic and Coream connecting ecosystems. It's going to be an interesting interesting one guys so make sure to watch till the end. And folks for those of you who are new to the channel we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos and you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well only if you're interested. And folks keep your assets safe and for that you guys can check out the Crypto Growth exclusive discount offer on Decent. Decent is convenient safe and secure you can check out their biometric wallet which has got an astonishing $50 off and you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got a phenomenal $129 off only if you follow the link in the description box below by the way folks decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets i personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet so do check out decent and be safe uh, anyways guys now let us look into the price and chart of both sologenic and corium and let's see what they have been up to so guys as far as Korean is concerned, guys, this is the last seven days chart. Although the entire market almost in the is almost in the red, guys. Uh, Korean in the last seven days is one of the only projects that is da that is up twenty nine point three seven percent, guys. I really think that this is good. The volume has picked up as well, guys. One point uh, one point eight million dollars it picked up, and now I do not know how much is it is. Okay, so it went as high as even three million dollars, and now it is uh, one point eight million dollars, guys. So yeah, this is the last seven days chart. If we look at last month, it is up. 24.77% guys it is going on uh, onwards and upwards to test to test this uh, monthly resistance over here uh, check this out it, it went as low as almost eight and a half cents and now it is on its way to bas basically testing this 12 cent 12 and a half cent uh, resistance line over here uh, let's hope that it succeeds in the last year guys uh, it is up 5.16 percent it basically came down and tested this uh, 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 range over here guys a support zone over here and it has rebounded yet again and let's hope that this time around it basically goes forward and breaks this resistance and beyond because uh, oftentimes it has tried to break through it even did try to break, break through uh, here which we're talking about uh the 12 it tried to break through this 12 cent mark before as well but let's hope that it succeeds it in the early it went as high as uh, almost 30 cents and then it has come back down so guys check this out when corium decide, decides to move it moves fast guys check that check this out and uh, as far as sologenic is concerned guys it hasn't moved uh obviously it is still down 2.14 percent in this last seven days it is down 13.64 percent in the last month uh, if we look at the early though it is also in somewhat of a similar situation a situation as corium testing some crucial support levels uh, as far as corium is concerned it has rebounded let's hope that uh, sologenic rebounds as well and goes on upwards to test these resistance levels because overall both sologenic and corium they are both extremely undervalued guys and they have got a lot of potential to for upwards upward movement from this point onward why is that guys let us now look into it so guys uh, check this out this is a post why has corium increased this week corium has gone up uh, so yeah why has it gone up i saw a really good post over here now people are maybe the people are uh trying to learn about it uh, its capabilities and all of that stuff we're going to be looking corium is the solution so guys check this out corium is the solution corium versus existing blockchains so check this out blockchain generation bitcoin first generation ethereum second generation binance second third Polkadot third, XRP Ledger first generation, Corium is the third generation. Interoperability, uh, Corium is giving you interoperability along with Polkadot and Binance. Uh, On-chain governance, Binance has it, Polkadot doesn't. 
the XRP, a ledger, it has it, and so does Quorium, guys. So look at it. Transactions per second, 4, 5, 62, 166, 1500. As far as Quorium is concerned, guys, 7000. Transaction fee, moderate, high, moderate, low, low, low. Uh, Quorium is low. Block time, 600 seconds. Ethereum, 14 seconds. Binance, 5 seconds. Polkadot, 6 seconds. Our XRP Ledger, 4 seconds. As far as Corium is concerned, guys, 1.5S. Energy consumption, high, high, uh, low, low. XRP Ledger, low. Corium, extremely low. Consensus mechanism, proof of work, proof of work. Proof of uh, I think Korea, Ethereum is trying to go towards that proof of stake mark. This might be an old post over here, but it is trying to uh, go to uh, proof of stake after Ethereum 2.0, if I'm not wrong. POSA, NPOS, RPCA, BPOS. Smart contract and DeFi. BTC does not have it. Obviously, Ethereum does. Uh, Polkadot, parachains only. Binance, yes. XRP Ledger, no, but uh, we've covered uh, videos on Flare Network, guys. Flare Network is trying to give capability to those projects that do not have smart contracts, so uh, that do not have intrinsically uh, intrinsic smart contracts. So maybe this is the Flare uh, solves this issue for the XRPL. Corium has it. And it's got projects being built on top of it, like Pulsara DEX and others. Check this out, smart contract and DeFi. Okay, so native DEX, no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes. But which I'm talking about, Pulsara DEX, I think is it's the DEX. Distributed cloud computing and storage, no, yes, yes, no, no, yes. Polkadot does not have it, so we are seeing green everywhere over here in the Corium side of things. So this is why Corium guys basically wants to uh, build itself up and basically provide solutions as far as Sologenic is concerned guys check this out Sologenic and Corium they go hand uh, side by side Sologenic reposts everything that almost every good thing that Corium shares alongside Wave 4 Corium is launching a dedicated program to help XRPL native projects to expand their cross-chain capabilities connect to 100 plus ecosystems via ibc compatibility introduce smart token features and become a part of the super ledger apply below it's time to go cross-chain xrp army the announcement of corium's new program to help xrpl native projects expand their cross-chain capabilities is a positive development for the project by enabling projects to connect to over 100 other ecosystems via IBC inter-blockchain communication, compatibility and introducing smart token features, Corium is positioning itself as a key player in the XRPL ecosystem. This move enhances the interoperability and uh, scalability of the XRPL, which is bullish for Corium as it strengthens its role in the ecosystem and expands its potential user base. By the way, guys, uh, as, as far as Sologenic is concerned, uh, real world asset tokenization will be a thing in the future. And you know that Solo wants to basically tokenize stock market shares, uh, bonds, and a lot of stuff, guys, a lot of uh, non blockchain assets on the XRP ledger. So both of these projects have a lot of potential, guys. Check this out. Sologenic market cap 43.5 million at the moment price 10 cents uh, what is what is the price at the moment okay so 1061 almost 10 and a half cents uh, description tokenizes non blockchain assets on the XRPL le XRP ledger bridging traditional financial markets and digital assets recent performance stable growth with increasing adoption so this is awesome for both of them. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the, uh, the Sologenic is going to be doing extremely well as well as the real world asset tokenization uh, FOMO hits.
don't sleep on solo it's been the one from the start even if you get fomo the bullet train will depart so a lot of people are uh, basically bullish on sologenic in terms of what its capabilities are the real world asset tokenization it's a real uh, uh, multi trillion uh, industry guys in the making check this out real estate tokenizing real real world assets with sologenic if you do not know guys already so real estate is a is an industry is a sector that has over i think 300 trillion uh, worth of uh, market cap at the moment globally obviously that is huge even if it if a sologenic or projects of such magnitude they even uh, basically uh, disrupt or have a share in only half a percent of this huge market if they tokenize it imagine the price of this asset guys only 42 43 million dollars at the moment uh, obviously uh, at the moment people won't uh, take it seriously they would say that it is a long shot but guys patience ultimately wins the day and both of these projects are basically huge and they're trying to connect to huge uh, ecosystems infrastructures check this out resistance is futile the future is decentralized ai and blockchain will meet on corium with rapid insights and smart tools for builders to go from idea to application so guys what do you guys think about uh, corium and uh, sologenic what do you guys think uh, are they uh, would they indeed connect uh, huge ecosystems uh, and uh, basically disrupt trillions of dollars i would really like your opinions do hit the comment box below and let the community know anyways guys this was it for the video if you liked it make sure to like share comment subscribe and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and you can also support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out like i always say in the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone